Yo, what up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys already know what time it is. It's time for another trailer reaction, y'all. There Woo! it is, man. This one, I have to say, we have both oh, yeah. been waiting for. Most anticipated film this year. Man. Uh, the trailer that we were about to watch is Maxine from A24 Pictures. Man, when you talk about X yeah. and then Pearl yeah. and then this, yeah. we've been waiting for it. This could potentially be the best horror trilogy of all time. And that it's been a while since we had one of those. So, and each one's distinctly different, even though they're connected. And that's what's great about this series. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I recommend you guys, if you guys have not seen this, uh, the previous two, please watch them. Please <laughs> watch them. They're very interesting. But uh, I'm ready to react. Let's get it. Let's get these headphones on. Ty West. All right, and here we go. So, Maxine. Your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. Oh, oh shoot, okay. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke <laughs> Shield, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with that freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every bad girl in Hollywood. So we got a shape on the loose. I'm the private detective. I had to find you. <laughs> My employer is a very powerful man. Oh, Bates Motel, what? Ain't finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your <laughs> door. <laughs> Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? This is amazing. I'm so sorry. If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? <laughs> this is the defining role of your career. Whatever's going on in your life that's interfering with this picture, squash it. I intend to. Wow. Maxine! 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 You're a fucking movie star. I love this cat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a trailer right there. Man, after Woo! this, I'm going to watch some Triple X. <laughs> oh, man. You couldn't have sold me any more than you already. I'm, I'm really ready for this. Now, that's oh, how man. you do a trailer. Man. Bro, my mind is on a Woo! whole bunch of levels right now with this franchise. The first one. We saw it was introduction to Triple X. Yeah. The adult world. And that hit with a different take. I don't want to spoil anything because I really want you guys to watch it. The second one was an introduction to a Triple X new new era of, yeah. of a adult film. And then this one is in the the center of it. Right. I'm getting Man. When I saw the Bates Motel and stuff like that. Yeah. I am getting Scream 3? Yeah, okay, yeah. When they went to LA? Yeah. Scream 3? Yeah. When they were all over the Hollywood set? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Meets Pearl. Mixed in with a little bit of... What's a good detective? Like a detective type of movie. Oh. Like a who done it. I want to say I don't know if it counts as uh, horror, but it's more in the throat. So I was gonna say a perfect murder with Michael Douglas. Something where something cause more, because kind of more like seductive thriller. Yeah, there's a little bit of that in there yeah, too, for yeah. sure. Something like that, where the woman's like the protagonist. Yeah, and then there's like a cop on the trail or disclosure. Oh, a Demi Moore. Like, yeah, that's another good one too. Fatal yeah. Attraction, that kind of thing. Where we're trying to find out yeah. who done what. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Uh, I'm gonna say I got a lot of Italian Jello murder mystery in here. 
Uh, a lot of uh, Dario Argento, if you know who that is. What was the movie uh, with the with the ghost and uh, 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 what's her name that talked for? Uh, uh, she's Fier Fierosa now. Charlie Stern. No, no, she's now. Oh, I ain't tell a joy. Yeah. Uh, uh, Last night Soho. Last night Soho. Yeah, 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 there it is. Yeah, yep. Good movie. Uh, that I got a little bit of a mixture of Brian De Palma, some John Carpenter in here, a little bit of Hitchcock. So it's a lot of bit of that stuff then where they were everyone was dabbling into like the serial killer, that thriller, and that that old time. So it's a lot of that, which is really cool. Uh, I like the whole idea of the Night Stalker because you always hear about like these certain events occurring like. In the midst of Hollywood, of people coming in like into the industry, like there's always yeah. like some weird stuff going on. So that's Hollywood. a great angle. Um, yeah, this I, is very exciting. I wonder if she's the stalker, hmm. and she's taking out the competition. That would be a different twist. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I wonder if she's the stalker. Scream three. Yeah, do with the director, like <laughs> trying to bring the family together. I mean, like, the Bates Motel uh, sitting right there, bro. Psycho. Yeah, that's a very you, nice. You're touch doing too. You, you, that. That was kind of like the because we all knew he was his mom had been gone. He, yeah, he was doing all the murders. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just like how each part of this trilogy is like focused on different uh, moments of time, like which is great, and they do a good job of bringing those aesthetics, man. Uh, Ty West has got another hit on his hands, man. And A24, again, keeps taking bold swings with their movies. You know yeah. you're going to get something different every time. And they got the upcoming Civil War coming out this weekend. So now they're jumping into the action genre. Man, A24 is hidden. Yeah, definitely. So is Blumhouse. Yeah. Like, those two are just, Woo! They, they've elevated film. I'm excited for this uh, one, man. It's for the, the, for the normal uh, film goers. Now, this one's going to be very interesting. Um, I wish I got a Red Band trailer. I know. I was looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, you would you would think, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I need some more Maya, you know. Nineteen eighty five. Uh, Why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, triple X. Triple X, triple X. Um, but no, this was a good trailer. I it got me I'm ready. Cause, Cause when you look at part one and part two, they're different but very similar. Very, yeah. But they have a tie in. So then that's the other thing. See, I think we go I think we got two this I, if it was me, I would have two killers on my hand. Like you said, the shape. Yeah. Yeah. And the finder of the shape. I also think that somebody probably was a fan of her work, saw some of her earlier movies, that the stuff that she was working on the X, the the movie that they made on the farm, The Farmer's Daughter. Somebody probably saw that or got a hold of her and was trying to hunt her down, like personally. That's what I think may have happened. I, and they're like, oh, she's hot now. She's getting into the industry. Now, Target. But remember, her father. Yeah. So, would he be tracking down his daughter? Possibly. Hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like it's going to tie into part one for sure. Yeah. And it looks like it's a generational thing. So, I think either she is out. She's out there on the prowl too. Yeah. To take out the competition. Right. And the holier than thou on some, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, uh. He used to be in the alleys in Europe. Um, rip. Uh, um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I think he. It was like a, a. Dang, I can't think of the name. Oh my gosh, he. He used to uh, murder women in the alleys and stuff. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. So are we gonna have a Jack the Ripper on a on a biblical side, where it seems like the women that were getting taken out were street stalkers, porn industry. So he's going after people that he admires and finds something about them that he likes. Yes and no. Okay. To get close to her. Okay. Yeah. And she's taking out people to get opportunities. So these are calculated uh, choosings, basically. Yeah. Like, like yeah. I'm going to take her out yeah. because what she's doing is wrong. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take her out or take him out because they're blocking me from being successful. Uh. So we got a little kiss the girls thing going on in Casanova. So I think we All got right. two, yeah. two. I think we got two killers on the yeah. hands right here on this one. That's so, just my thought. So I'm, you got I, the the killer that's potentially maybe like the great lover, the Casanova. Then you got the other side that's like a maybe a movie fan or like yeah. to adult films. It's like All right, I, I ain't never had any challenges like this. So you, yeah. What if there is two? Yeah. Huh. All right. On some scream stuff. Like yeah. I think I think this is the eighties. So yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I'm it's, down. Not, <laughs> it's not about us. It's about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about the trailer Maxine. Was you guys looking forward to this? And if you have not seen the other two, 
uh, X and Pearl. And, and Pearl. Yeah. Please watch them before you dip into this one because you're in for a ride. Now, that movie is not for the young. Man, go check out some uh, Ty West's uh, other catalogs too, man. He's a really great filmmaker, yeah. man. He, he, he's up and coming, man. Yeah. Like, like, for real. I look forward to that name. You know how they said uh, when you see the, the director's name anymore, no one cares? Yep. Nah, with this gentleman? Yeah, I yeah. do. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it's not about us, like I said, it's about y'all. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button. Thumbs this video up. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Do it. I'm J3. Run the show. Woo! And just says. Road to 100,000 subscribers.